Hey, hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell it will enable you to get notified each time i upload videos just like this one my name is sarah sarah olufiade and you're welcome to my youtube channel in today's video it's all about this bags that i purchased from zara and as you can see i have the security tag the security pins on the bags all of them has it and it's a kind of frustrating in any way to see you buying bags from them and you're seeing the security uh, tag and I was contemplating on taking it to H&M because it's closer to me because Zara is very very far from me I wouldn't want to like waste my time going that far but hey not to worry I came up with a decision to take this tag out of the bag without going to the mall so stick close to this video relax and watch this video till the end and don't forget to thumbs up this video and also press like watch this video and see how i'm going to do this so the following day was when i decided to do something about this bag so i came to my kitchen i had to remove two out of it in which it was a great idea that was the reason why i decided to share this video with you letting you know that you can also do it at home without you working down to the mall so these are the two pins that I removed from these two bags okay so I still have more bags to remove from it so this is what was disturbing it uh, it's like a cotton board because these pins will stick to the chain of the bag and you will be very careful not to destroy your back especially the chain so my daughter came along to assist me uh, so we did this together so these are the things you'll be using scissors to cut that out from the bag a screwdriver and also a ferric to control it and you need to be very careful not to injure your fingers so stay tuned and watch this video closely we have removed two already so watch how we did it So here is another bag, as you can see, still with a security tag. It's a kind of frustrating anyway, but you just have to try and see if you can do it. But if you cannot do it, you can easily take it back to Zara and they will remove it from it, okay? So here is a, um, the chain that is holding the pin. So we need to remove the, the white, um, it's a kind of cotton board you have to use scissors and scissors it so here is what we're doing here So now that we have removed uh, the white uh, cotton board or whatever it's called, you can see it's very easy. It's loose now, so it's easy or much more easier for us to just uh, do something about it. So the first thing uh, she did was she used the screwdriver to just uh, like a kind of shake she just put it inside and shake it and shake it and use the fake itself to guard it okay yeah so watch closely it's very very loose now so it's much much easier but be careful with the chain 
we don't really want to damage uh, the chain itself so this is what she did okay you just use the fact and just it's just use it and shake it up and down up and down just like so and you will be hearing a kind of crack inside you'll be hearing it yourself then you know that the security uh, pin it's releasing from the the hole itself so later on, on she went ahead and make use of the screwdriver with the help of the screwdriver and also with the help of the fake it's what really got the pin out just watch closely So now you see it's loose already. So all you need to do with this pin is just move it side to side, side to side. You will be hearing the crack itself. Watch closely again. Side to side, side to side. Don't let go. Just keep moving on. And it's weak already. And just pull it out. Just pull. Still side to side. Keep doing it like that and you see what I'm talking about. It's out. Voila! That's it. That's it. It's a kind of relief for me when, when we did the first and second one. I was like, wow. So we can really do this. Because I was thinking, will I be going to H&M? Because I had to tell them at H&M and I have to show them your receipt. That is, I will show them my receipt. But... What can one do? Just try this hack at home and you're gonna love it. Okay, with the help of the scissors and with the help of the screwdriver and the fake, you can really do this yourself. Even without that, you can really do it with your fingers. So if you like this video, support me by liking this video, give it a thumbs up. Okay, people, I hope to catch you up on my next one. Have a nice day. Bye.